Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk about something a little bit, once again, about myself. Um, something that came to my mind as I was hanging out with Aaron and Amber uh, while playing through... Me personally playing through Mega Man, finishing up Mega Man 8 on my own free time, and then Aaron playing through Mega Man X. Well, what we call X crap, or Mega Man crap, but it was Mega Man X7. And that joke I've been playing for a while. But recently, thinking about the jokes that we make amongst some of the X games that we feel are kind of just poorly put together, hence the reason for calling it Mega Man Crab, uh, made me, it made me think of what I'm okay with when it comes to poking fun or teasing certain individual circumstances and what I'm not okay with, I've never acted a, in a, in a, jokingly in a way that I wouldn't approve other people to do. But there are specific details to these particular circumstances, and that right there is what I wanted to talk about in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with what I'd be okay with. Now, as the joke that I was talking about implies, I'm okay with making fun of poorly put together projects. Because honestly, I make fun of poorly put together certain, like, projects that I've done in the past all the time. Uh, most of the time for me, it's puzzles, unfinished games that I have just kind of sitting aside. Like the gift I... It's been a while, and I haven't found the time to be able to get back to it, but the gift I was doing for D9. Um, it's unfinished. I make fun of myself for like half. Not not even getting a... Like a I got like a tiny, tiny parcel through it. Parslic? I think it's parslic, actually. You guys know what I mean. One or the other, a very, very, very tiny fraction of it is... It got done, and because I kind of just stopped and I wasn't able to get back to it, I started making fun of myself for it. I am willing to make fun of projects to a specific degree, depending on the circumstance. If I were to put together something so poorly, project-wise, that it even made me laugh, then yes, I would allow others to make fun of it. Because even I know it was that bad. I mean, I feel like sometimes that's kind of my daily job. I make fun of myself during my day job. I make fun of myself on here. There's certain... Speaking of, though, there are certain degrees that I don't approve of. And that is kind of where things start to really hiccup. For example, when it comes to joking, depending on the person, I'm either okay with certain medical jokes or I don't approve of it whatsoever. For me, for example, if someone like me who has gone through um, the certain medical circumstances that I've gone through. If they were to make a joke based around that specific medical circumstance, I'd back up and go, you know what? You have the right to do so. But, one thing I don't have, and I'm going to use that same kind of logic as an example. Like, let's use me for example, actually. I, one thing I do not suffer from is... I believe post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, medical... Because a lot of people have a tendency to mix that particular disorder up. I'm talking about the legitimate medical disorder. With all the symptoms involved and stuff like that. 
I do not, in my mind, have the right to make any kind of joke involving that specific circumstance because I don't go through it. I don't know what it's like to go through that, so I do not have the right to make fun of it or make a joke about it. To me, it's one and the same. And that would go for anybody, for any topic, to me. Not many people are the same on this front, and that's fine. The jokes that I don't mind as well would be things that are like pranks. In fact, I hate pranks with a burning passion. If someone pulls one on me, I'd be like... I would literally be willing to do that if I ever found somebody do that to me. Surprises, on the other hand, not so much. Those are... it really depends. For the most part, I do not like surprises, because for the most part, the surprises are, you know, not good things. However, if it's something like a surprise birthday party, or a birthday gift or a Christmas gift that someone hides that they want to give, those kind of things are fine. That is understandable. Anything else? Yeah, no. No thanks. But anyway... I guess when it comes to this kind of stuff, I am very particular, very particular on like the jokes that I make, stuff like that. And I guess I just have always expected others to respect my request towards the jokes, and in return I do the same for them. But that's just how I am. Most people are different from that, which I understand and I'm fine with. But one way or the other, I'm going to leave this video here. Thanks for watching this little video uh, about me kind of talking about what I approve and what I don't approve when it comes to like jokes. Um, if you agree with anything I said or you liked what I had to say here, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you want to check out any of the videos I've done about myself, uh, click the link on the left side of my head your left, my right, um, or if you want to check out anything that might suit, might float your boat a bit better, if not anything in that playlist, how about click the link on the other side of my head? And, and if neither work out, why not check the channel itself out if you have not yet? In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now.